Welcome back to Set Streets and These Guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I am here with my daughter Kennedy. It is her 18th birthday. We are in Las Vegas. We are here in front of Rainforest Cafe because that's where we're going for her 18th birthday dinner. This is my fourth Rainforest Cafe to review. I'm excited to see the Las Vegas location of Rainforest Cafe and I hope you guys will join us. Let's go see it. A crocodile and he's ornery there's a jaguar up there he looks like he has some weird thing on his eye and he's laughing like a hyena so one thing I've already noticed is maybe it's just in the bar downstairs here but they do not have their patented animal butt bar stools. They just have their regular seats around the bar down here. I don't know if they have a bar upstairs that maybe they have their regular or those animal seats. We will find out. Hi, Tracy Tree. They're all that way. Let's try see again. Of course, Tracy Tree drops little facts about the rainforest every time people walk by. She's triggered by a motion sensor. Unlike the crocodile, who is just on his own schedule. He, uh, he moves to the beat of his own drum, so to speak. He does whatever he wants. So here's a picture of the whole gang. There is a monkey. But I haven't found the monkey's cup, so I don't know the monkey's name off the top of my head. Six mascots at the Rainforest Cafe. Into the elevator. Here it is. There's a gorilla. Thank you. I see him. Hey, he's swinging. Thank you. Here we go. So of course, as you know, if you've been to a rainforest cafe, every 30 minutes, they have a storm. Elephants do not care for it. Huh. I don't know if you can see this monkey is having the time of his life. We should need a light to see him. Uh, now he's got a light. Now he's going for it. Swing monkey. Swing. He loves it. He can't get enough of it. That was a very short lived storm. Of course, we have another gorilla up top. He sits there talking to himself. Oh, I 
I don't see the fountain. That's interesting. Normally a fountain. Hmm. So I did notice when I was looking around the restaurant, um, they do not have the Atlas Holding the World Fountain. Um, and I found out this location, uh, it was taken out. Um, and the Nashville location, it was taken out as well. I've been to the Nashville location a couple of times, but it's been several years. So um, I haven't been there in a while, and, but the last time I was there, they still had that fountain. So apparently so far, Las Vegas and Nashville don't have the Atlas Fountain. So I'll have to keep a tally, but out of the four locations I've reviewed so far, the first three had the Atlas Fountain. This is the first one that has not. I, of course, had to continue my glasses uh, streak. This is the fourth glass. I've been getting a glass at each location that says the location of it. So here's to Vegas. So Kennedy ordered the watermelon lemonade and it comes in this awesome cup with a light up bottom. Now when you lift it up, it's a slot that says Rainforest Cafe. That's pretty cool. It says just hanging around at the Rainforest Cafe. Oh boy. We got us a sampler. He's right, that plate is warm. Well, we got chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, Southwest egg rolls, and spinach artichoke dip. Oh, chimichachas, you say? Yeah, but yeah, the South Coast is right there. Let's dig in. I'm gonna try a chimichacha. It's got some kind of a sauce with it. We're gonna test it out. I don't know what that sauce is, but it's delicious. Spinach artichoke dip. Oh, pretty good. As you would imagine, it looks like the elephant's got a little wear and tear behind the uh, ears there. But, you know, they're flapping all day long. Just beating against the body, so that's going to get a little worn out. Big one actually looks in pretty good shape. So we've got a panther right up here on the shelf. Kind of making a few twitchy movements. And then we've got the family of gorillas. They were just making a whole bunch of noises and movements until I walked up. And now they're acting like they're not moving at all. Pasta looks really good. It's a spicy dish with shrimp and chicken. Yeah, that looks dynamite. And this is the filet. Is that that's the serpent term? The filet. Oh yeah, it's a sirloin. Filet and two different kinds of shrimps. Coconut and shrimp scampi. Good shrimps. All right, we'll try this spicy pasta. Oh man. Holy cow, that's hot. Ooh. Mm. Oh my God. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ooh. Boy, that's spicy. Got some shrimps. Thank you. Mmm, that chicken's really tasty. So is the shrimp. Oh, yeah. It's got fresh diced tomatoes on top of it, and the green peppers are really are cooked, but they're still firm, and onions. That's really good. I like it. And I know I got pasta, but I went ahead and got another starch with some loaded baked or loaded up mashed potatoes because you know. Two starches, I can't get in the grave fast enough.
So the truly unique feature of this Rainforest Cafe is this beautiful outdoor second, well, probably third story cafe overlooking Las Vegas Boulevard. They may not have the Atlas Fountain. They may not have a water ride that goes through a jungle with animatronic animals, but they have a one of a kind, awesome place to eat while you're overlooking the Las Vegas Strip with the Aria right over here. Lots of nightlife going on below and uh, a one of a kind view while you eat your safari fries. It's uh, pretty cool. So there was no bar upstairs. So this is the first rainforest uh, cafe I've been to that does not have the animal bar stool seats. They just have a unique green and wood chair. Not sure why. Either way, what'd you think of this rainforest cafe, Kennedy? It was pretty good. Uh, the pasta dish was delicious. And your steak was delicious. Shrimp was delicious. Can't complain about it at all. Uh, I would, uh, I would come again. So uh, another successful review, and I appreciate you guys watching Set Streets and Eats, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of yet another Rainforest Cafe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.